Gonna head over to the inn in a little bit and um, do a couple projects over there. I wanna share the inside, do a little q and I'm so disgusting and sweaty from my workout. Might as well just not shower, right? Yeah. Um, Dino and I are gonna do a little whitening of the teeth because anything to reconnect and have a little date, like be intentional. Yes, even whitening our teeth together is considered a morning date. You know, you just grab whatever you can to, to have those moments together. So we're gonna do it together. <laughs> Wait, we should do each other's. Uh -oh. That's how we're really close. I'll put it on your teeth, you uh -huh. put it on mine. No, resting. <laughs> been thinking about whitening your teeth and trying Lumino whitening strips there is literally no better time than today and tomorrow it's part of the Amazon Prime deal of the day and it's 40% off 40% off normally I have like a $10 off coupon for Amazon this is such a great deal it makes the pack $29 which is like $1.43 for your top and bottom so it's amazing the reviews from not just myself but on Amazon there's like 20,000 reviews so um, they actually work um, they're non-toxic they um, don't ruin your two teeth enamel and we, we love them over here so you can use my code to shop them if you love me walking down by the sun and sage room right now and I noticed that the other day and walk is like so strong today it smelled this really fierce nasty smell it smelled like somebody had poured like beer out all over the ground and then it got really hot a twofer oh boy all right here we go what's happening baby what's happening oh let me tell you yucky yucky hot mango is no bueno so you know it's good. This is what uh, the joie in crew does over here. Oh. Rummaging through bushes oh. for dried mango. All better now, all fixed. Just grabbed a couple goodies at Gray Street, some dried flowers and an apple turnover. And um, yeah, they're right behind the inn in the shopping center. That's what I love so much about the location of the inn. There are so many great things right here. As you can see, I'm in the sage room. It just got cleaned. I'm gonna dirty it up now. I just got some fresh, I don't know if you can say fresh with dried flowers, but yes, new fresh dried flowers um, from Gray Street. We had were looking a little, I don't even know what they were looking like. They look kind of just like a weed. So I grabbed some for each of the rooms and look how cute these are. So we'll put these in here and I just love those little special touches that kind of bring the rooms together. share how things are holding up I get a lot of questions on that and really like I think our guests are amazing for one and then everything's held up really really well there's been a few things like you know I probably wouldn't buy like a white beach bag again next time and when we need to replace them I'll get like a colored one from somewhere else but um little things like that other than that like I feel like the the appliances are amazing the furniture has been really great By far the biggest question about the inn, and I wish I could do something about it, but it is a local regulation. If you're under a certain amount of units in our specific area, you can only do a seven night minimum stay. But most guests want to stay that long anyway. All right, I feel like this is kind of a two part question. So first of all, I think the hardest part or the most challenging was just at the beginning, not knowing and never doing this before. And then just trying to figure out like how to start. Um, so that's the first part of it. And then one that I think that would be very challenging, but it really hasn't been for us. Thank the Lord is 
just having great staff and team, awesome management. <laughs> I see what you did there. Auntie Lynn in the house. Yes, we are trying to expand the inn. Uh, we have been trying basically since we bought the inn and like we get booked up pretty quickly. So we've tried, we put offers in on other spots, other spots around us and they haven't gone through. So we just keep praying for God's perfect timing. Okay, another big one in the messages is the price and how we afforded this and you know I'm very open about all of that. We actually did two lives, one right before we moved here and then one just a few weeks ago and you can hear all that good stuff over there. 